Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Got new exciting news here at CK Outdoors. Uh, bought a new boat. It's a 1648 Tracker. So what I'm gonna do tonight is kind of just walk through, show you guys what I've done so far to it, kind of what I plan on doing to it. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this thing on the water in the next, uh, next week sometime, I hope, to finish break-in period so we can get some full throttle out of it. Uh, so with that, we'll go and do a walk around of the boat. So, see, tracker. Essentially, we got, uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Mercury 50 horse. This boat should go pretty, pretty fast, I'm thinking. So, it came stock with battery, fuel tank, fuel line, the motor, the boat, the trailer. Uh, other than that, nothing else really comes with it. So, what I've done so far is I put these trailer bunks on. I've also put a transom saver on. Uh, without that, this motor was bouncing around quite a bit on my ride home when I first bought it. I've also bought the Helix 7, installed the transducer. Uh, I did mess that up the first time, so I have a couple extra holes in the hull now, but uh, nothing some silicone can't handle. Right now it's just temporarily zip-tied until I get the test run and get the adjustments done on this, make sure everything works. Uh, the initial run on it, I took it out, and once I got over 12 miles an hour uh, speed, the screen just goes white, but it did flip up out of the bracket because it was too low, too low on the boat. So I've raised it up now, pretty much flush with the hull. So I don't think we'll be having any problems. I also put the extra screw in there. I left it out because I didn't want to drill that many holes if we didn't have to. So the line runs up. So I ran it through this channel where the throttle cables go. I also ran the power wire through there. I extended it. The one that comes with the actual Helix 7, uh, that isn't long enough. It ends about right here. So what I did is ran two 14 gauge wires, red and black, off the battery. Brought them up through this conduit channel. And then I put these uh, unpluggable butt connectors on there. So essentially, I can still take this head off, use this power cable on a different boat, the other boat just has to have the transducer already on it. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the Helix 7. It's got side imaging, down imaging. Um, also purchased the ram mount here for mounting it. Uh, they do have windshields for this boat. So that was kind of my main decision on why I mounted this where I did. I still want to be able to put a windshield on here in the future. Uh, I also want to be able to, to rotate this head around so if I'm at the bow of the boat I can still look at the fish finder while I'm fishing and get a pretty good view. Um, one other nice thing about this boat that you'll see is it actually has this uh, VersaTrack so you can add accessories. So I've added uh, two rod holders right now. What I did is went to the hardware store, got stainless steel, uh, quarter 20 carriage nuts, or quarter carriage bolts, sorry. And some wing nuts and put these on so I got one here I got one on the other side of the boat uh, boat also comes with a live well so I have not tested that out yet you know fairly good size kind of excited to have a boat with a live well I've been using it for extra storage right now uh, This is also the camera pattern boat, so I believe that adds about $500 if you're to buy one. Uh, trailer, I kind of like it. It's kind of an undercoated paint job. Should hold up pretty good. This boat rolls really easy, so I'm able to push it in and out of my garage by myself pretty much effortlessly. Uh, one downfall that I don't like about this is these uh, <clears throat> safety straps that they put on the trailer. This is not wide enough to get onto most of the trucks without a struggle. So I might end up changing that out to chains with some different clips. Um, so I've added this extra seat up front. I do have the pedestal for it. I went with a straight pedestal right now. 
because I plan on using the straight one on the back seat. And then this one eventually I think I'm going to get the offset so you can open up this storage compartment. Uh, there's quite a bit of room in this storage compartment. Uh, this is where your extra battery is supposed to go also for your trolling motor. Uh, it does come stock with pre-wired plug. So I do already have the uh, accessory plug purchased. I just need to get a trolling motor. Kind of been holding off uh, until I get all the other accessories and the safety equipment on the boat. Uh, what else we got going on here? Uh, the rear light factory, it's mounted in this position on the side rail. But it does get in a way of your Versatrack system when you're trying to move stuff up and down and slide it on here. So you either need to remove the light in order to slide stuff or relocate it. I am currently thinking about relocating it maybe to the back of the boat. Potentially in this area here. But as you can see, I have not fastened this wire loom yet either. Because I'm thinking about building a little platform deck on here so we can fish further back off the boat. And then net fish off the back of the boat easier. Right now there's a large gap here and I feel like if you're really struggling or not paying attention that you can fall in here and get tangled up and everything trying to net a fish. But uh, still trying to come up whether I do an aluminum frame and permanently mount it down or a piano hinge type style to flip it up. Or if I just go with some lumber for the time being and put it across here uh, once we're out fishing. So yeah, this light right here, like I said, it'd be nicer if they had that in a different position on the boat. Um, also, I got these rod holders that I'm going to install. It's just temporarily sitting here right now. I have not mounted them. They actually just came in the mail the other day. Uh, when I had this boat out originally, I had all the rods sitting in the in the bottom of the boat here. And they just bounce all over and the lines get tangled, so I'm done with that. We need some sort of organization. And then I also think I'm going to put a, another rod holder on the side console to hold some rods here. And potentially, if I don't put the platform back here, to put a rod holder across here. Or maybe some rod holders on here and... Maybe one by the gas tank to hold some rods vertically. So you can see you got a nice little workstation area, throttle. Uh, this also has the hydraulic trim, electric trim, both on the throttle handle and on the motor. So that makes it really nice. Put this transom saver on, you don't have to mess around. I will right, take another walk back around here. So then you also control navigation lights and your bilge pump and live well all off of the switches on the dash. But all in all, seems to be a pretty nice boat. I'm anxious to get it out on the water, but you guys will have to stay tuned. Hit that like and subscribe button and we'll get some fishing in and we'll also show you any more mods that I do to the boat as we move on. Thank you.